Today for our Danielian page, we will be practicing some letters on page 88. So if you haven't already, go ahead and get out your Danielian for page 88. And it looks like the first letter we are going to be practicing is letter V. So these are all letters that we've learned recently, and these are all the letters that look very different from the print version. Our V starts at the bottom red line. We go up and over, and we end in a side stroke. And remember, it's important that our cursive V does not have that point on the bottom like a print V. We need it to look like a cursive V. All right, let's practice across the row. This is my best one. Make sure that your V is touching the dotted line and the bottom red line and all of the places that it's supposed to be. The whole letter should stay between those two lines. All right, letter Z is probably one of the trickiest we have. I'm gonna start by tracing this one to help my hand remember how to make the letter. Zoom out a little bit. We do that overhill stroke to the left, wrap around like our Y. So the weirdest part of the Z is this middle portion right here, because we just kind of have to get used to the way that it looks. We know that it touches the bottom red line, but we need this shape to happen before we go any further. And then our loop goes all the way down to the bottom blue line. And if you mess one up, just erase it and try again. And remember, you can always retrace the beginning black letter if that helps you remember the shape you need to make. So make sure they are staying kind of slanted going the side direction. We don't want it to start going up and down. Okay, and that kind of looks like a weird shaped Y. I need it to be slanted diagonally. Awesome, let's move on to S. Red to blue, uphill stroke. We touch almost where we started before we come back out with our tail. My top needs to be a point and the bottom needs to be rounded. We touch and come back out. Touch the starting line and come back out. And this whole letter S stays between the dotted line and that bottom red line. When you're ready, let's start R, diagonal, down, and around. So we have the same direction as the Z. It needs to be diagonal, not up and down, not side to side, diagonal. Down, around, diagonal, down, around, diagonal, down, around. Remember, you can always pause as needed if you need some more time. The last letter here is F. So when you're ready, let's start F. This is my favorite letter. 
we have an L shape. We go down and up. It takes up so much space. But it starts with an L, down to the bottom blue, touch at the red, and out. L, down to the bottom blue, back around like a Q, and then out. And remember, we don't loop around like we do with a Z or a Y. So we go straight back up to the right, touch at the red, and our tail comes out. When you have this done, you're going to practice on the bottom, and I want you to do this part by yourself. So after you've practiced your V, Z, S, R, and F, practice this F, R blend, S, H, R, V, Y, and ZZ. Turn in your completed page 88 to me on Canvas.